Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Physics 20, Vectors, Lesson 2, Adding Non-Right Angle Vectors, Part, gosh, 3? 4. 3. Anyway, the last one. So, where are you if you have walked 35 meters bearing 210 degrees and then 20 meters bearing 70 degrees? So I'm going to do the rest of these questions, uh, trig, sine, cosine, splitting them up. If you want to do them a different way, great. I don't care. So, 35 meters bearing 210 degrees, so 210 is 90, 80, something like that, 35, and then you do 20 meters bearing 70 degrees, 70 degrees is like that, 20. So what's your resultant? Now that's a bad drawing, but let's split it up, 35 degrees bearing 210. Now, 210 degrees, so that is 90, 80, so that's 30 degrees. 35 at 30 degrees. You've got your Y and your X. And then you have bearing 70, means you have 70 degrees like that. 20, and you have your Y and your X. So, splitting this up. Sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse. So opposite is hypotenuse sine of theta. Move this, make a little space. There we go. More space here. So this is in the purple one. This is the opposite is y equals 34. 5 meters sine 30 degrees, so 17.5 um, meters. And here the opposite is also my y, which is, sorry, in the second triangle is 20 meters sine 70, and I can't do that in my head. D sine 70 is 18.8. Now, before somebody freaks out, I want to point out this is plus and this is minus. Okay? I can make that plus a little bigger, shouldn't I? Now, sorry, uh, not change color, sorry. Cos of theta is adjacent for hypotenuse. Cross multiplying, you get adjacent. So hypotenuse times cos theta will be adjacent. Now, in the purple one, that's x. 35 cos of 30 degrees. That I can't do in my head. That's negative because it's going to the left. And in the green triangle, what happens to be my x also, that is 20 cos 70 degrees. So 20 cos 70 is 6.8. Here we have to add our x and our x and our y and our y. And, oh, I do have enough space. So, gee, change colors. So y total is 17.5, minus 17.5 plus 18.8, 1.3 meters. And my x total is minus 30 plus 6.8. I can't do that in my head. So 6.8. Minus 30.3, minus 23.5. So my resultant is, I'm sorry, that's x, sorry, not y, minus 23.5 meters and up 1.3 meters. So there we go. And there's my resultant and my angle. So 
a squared plus b squared equals c squared minus 23.5 squared plus 1.3 squared is my resultant squared. I'm going to do that in my head. Answer squared. Okay, and it's doing that again. So that's 550. So this calculator has an issue. Let me show you. Bracket. Sorry. To square properly, I've got to go bracket. Close bracket. Squared. Otherwise, it's squaring the, the 23.47 and leaving the m minus sign in front. So be careful of that. How about 0.9? Now, plus 1 point, I want to say 1.69. Oh, I didn't add those up, did I? So that is 17.5. Where's my 17.5? I didn't. All right, there it is. Enter. Minus, I'm sorry, not divide by, sorry. Minus 17.5 is 1.29 squared. 1.67 plus 550 is 752.5. So my resultant square root of my answer 23.5. I got to figure out my angle. This is tan theta is opposite, 1.3 divided by 23.5, so angle theta. Now, I don't worry about the, the negative part here with the angle. That was interesting, I've never done that before. Okay, anyway, so try that again. Inverse tan 1.3 divided by 3.5 equals. So I accidentally dragged that screen out. Now, how do I? Of course, now I want to do it so I can just drag it out. Ooh, that's how it goes. Okay, so I just did that. Can I make it bigger? Yes, I can. 3.16 degrees. Learn something new every day. It's kind of 3.2 degrees. So that's 3.2 degrees north of west. Okay, so that's my resultant. So, see, none of these are particularly bad, but they're getting kind of long. So, that's it. For, oh, actually, no. One more. A quick one. Slight difference. A canoe is paddling across the stream, which is 25 meters wide. The stream has a current of 3.2 meters a second east. If the canoe paddles directly north with a speed of 4 meters per second, how far down, downstream will it end up? So, this is actually a navigation question, so warm up to the next lesson, but you're going. Okay, so current. Okay, so, so the river's going east. 3.2 meters a second. And you're heading north, directly across at 3.2 meters, uh, 3, okay, 4 meters a second. How far downstream will you end up? Now, what I want you to realize here, and tomorrow's lesson, is you're getting carried downstream at some angle because the current is carrying you. Now, there's several ways to do this question, but if you read it carefully, you realize all I'm asking is you're going straight across 25 meters at 4 meters a second. How long will it take you to cross? Velocity, displacement, time. 
So that's four meters per second. Be five meters. Time. So velocity is displacement over time, or time is displacement over velocity. 25 meters at 4 meters per second, 6.25 seconds. Okay. Now, at the same time, you're going, you're getting carried downstream at 3.2 meters a second. So I should be going vy, dy, vx, dx. Okay? So if you do it this way, your velocity is 3.2 meters per second, and your time is 6.25 seconds. How far is your displacement in the x direction? Velocity is displacement over time. Displacement is velocity times time, which is... And I can't do that in my head. So 3.2 times 6.25 is 20. So you'd be carried 20 meters downstream. Now, I want you to notice what I did there. I broke it up into vector components. If I didn't do that, I would have to do this, find my resultant and find, my, find the uh, velocity and the time, and then solve for the opposite. Too much work. So be careful when you get questions like this. Sometimes you don't have to find the resultant. All right? Read the question carefully. Anyway, that's it for me. If you've got any questions, shoot me an email. Otherwise, congratulations. Go do the classwork.